So it's finished full time at the Charters Community Stadium, Winchester City 2, Bracknell Town 3, and I'm joined by Davo after tonight's game. Davo, uh, a very eventful game in the end. Um, talk me through your take on how the game went tonight. Yeah, I mean, breathless, I was going to say, and you, <laughs> you displayed it. Uh, disappointed with the result, um, disappointed with the first half, certainly 30 odd minutes of the first half, um, but fairly pleased with the second half, I thought we, we were good, yeah, I've got to say I think Bracknell were very good, I yeah. said before the game, I think I said in other interviews they're a good team, they will guarantee be in the playoffs in yeah. my opinion. Um, Comfortably one of the best sides we've played, lining down forwards. Um, we shot ourselves in the foot, simple as that. Shot ourselves in the foot, went behind after a minute. That's criminal, keep this happening. Excellent recovery with Was, great free kick, and then lively as anything for 10 minutes or five, five minutes or so. You know, great chance to go 2 1 up, and then all of a sudden we're 2 1, 3 1 down. It's yeah. like, oh God, you know, the, the gods are. Gods are killing us, really. Um, but you know that's, that, that, that was through bad decision making defensively, not getting tight enough against a good team. Yeah. And uh, and obviously we we got a mountain to climb. But I, I back us all day long to come back from behind. Um, and you know, a couple more minutes, we may have got something today. It was um, second half. We, you know, it got a little bit too basketball-y for a little while. Yeah. Um, and uh, it wasn't until we got a real grip of that sort of um, control of the game a little bit more that we started to really sort of make inroads. And then, you know, the last few minutes were crazy, weren't they? <laughs> yeah, very much so. So, um, I suppose, first of all, uh, Warren Bentley's free kick, excellent goal. Is that something he practices in training? Is he is he a designated free kick taker because he took it incredibly well? Uh, yeah, I mean he's he's got quality and he's got quality left, right, and centre. Anything he does is who's his class, and that free kick did. So yeah, I, I, I've not seen him step up and take many free kicks, but I'll be back in games and <laughs> doing it. I think he's brilliant, isn't he? What he does. So no, I, great free kick. Sadly, he went off in the second half. It looked like he had a bit of a knock. Do you know any more at this stage? A uh, little problem with his knee. Hopefully, it's nothing too bad. Uh, you know, he's a top player. We need him back. Very important to us. And uh, yeah, we um, we uh, yeah, we we um, sorry, someone come through the door. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he, 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 hopefully, it's nothing too bad. Uh, obviously, there was um, several formation changes in the second half. What was what were your what was your thinking behind that? I know as we got to the end of the game, Callum Chug was uh, up front. <laughs> got to do what you got to do, haven't you? We got to try, try and um, influence what we can influence from the side. You know, we we had to use certain subs through injury. Yeah. Um, you know, the head injury. Sort of could tell it was one of our attacking subs, but Jamie came on. I thought was excellent. Yeah. Um, was a sub was enforced, so we had to do something with that. Um, we didn't have a lot else we could do, so we had to sort of change a couple, sh you know, do a couple of shape changes, which worked, I guess. Um, like I say we just needed a few more minutes. It looked like a shout of a penalty late on as well after Max got the goal back, and it was, um, you know, they were really hanging on in there, weren't they? Yeah, very much so. Really well taken goal by Max as well. Um, equally, it was good. I think the impact that Silvano Obeng had when he came off the bench as well. Um, again, it's, it shows it's great to have the um, it's great to have the bodies on the bench to be able to to be able to do that. And as you say, on another day, a few extra minutes, and it could have been a very different story. Yeah, hundred percent. Uh, you know, I thought, like you say, all the subs were excellent. Oh, Claudio come on was excellent. Silvano was excellent when he came on. I said Dragon was excellent when he came on. Great finish from Max. Um, I still don't understand how he only added on five minutes when there was at least four four minutes or so through the head injury yeah. and there were several subs and different things going on but I said I'm not going to get into blaming the referees it wasn't the referees fault and I disagree with the sending off at the end but I will do wouldn't I I'm sure uh, that was going to be my next question um, do you know officially what the red card was for? Um, the send to the referee you know shouldn't have done it shouldn't swear on people it's only frustration. I'd like to think he would have exercised a little bit of common sense with that, in my opinion. But I, I can't argue the sending off if he swore it. If he swore him. What I'm not happy about is their player swore the lines. Yeah. 
straight just before. Yeah, it was literally yellow. a minute before. It makes yeah, makes no sense to me. I can't, I can't understand that. But you know, as I said, I don't want to make it about referee because I thought we had a quite good game to be honest. Other than that, yeah. Um, so obviously, looking ahead. We will um, train Thursday night and then we're at home again for the third time in a week uh, when we welcome Tiverton at the year and make the long journey up at the weekend. What are your thoughts looking ahead to that one? Another tough game. Yeah. <laughs> um, good club at this level. Um, big, powerful, physical. Some big boys, some players that we've stumbled across over the years and step forward that they've got there now. Um, yeah, we're gonna to have to count the cost of some injuries and bits and yeah. bobs that's going on, and you know, see what see see what happens. But yeah, we'll we'll prepare properly for it and look forward to it. We'll, we'll go into it full of confidence because, as I said, I think other than a stupid kamikaze defending, really, for a spell of the first half, I thought the second half, yeah, they had a few chances. I think Charlie only really made one good save with his feet. But, I don't remember too many other saves. No, not they overly, no. Fresher and that, but um, and some corners they whizzed in uh, and bits of play, but I don't think they opened up really other than that, which is really makes it more even more galling that we could see the three in the first half. Um, because we uh, you know, we, we made we created some good chances I thought. Obviously as you said we uh, potentially counting the cost of a couple of knocks tonight. Uh, we had a couple of lads that weren't far away before the game. How are they how are they looking now? Do you think there's a chance any of them will be back for the weekend? Uh, Luke King won't. Um, he's got a scan in a week's time. Hopefully that goes well on his on his hand um, wrist. Uh, Torms is going to play for the 23s tomorrow, so hopefully he won't be far away, which would be a real bonus if he comes through that. Okay. Um, yeah, that, 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 and, and we'll see how see how the other boys are. For sure. Well, Davo, thanks very much for your time and look forward to catching up with you after the game on Saturday. Yeah, can I just also say, well, I've got it. And yeah. If any of them do listen, massive good luck to uh, Bracknell. Yes, Gang absolutely. Tips, I think they thoroughly deserve that day. They've done ever so well for the last couple of years. And uh, I, know, I know the manager, Jamie, or joint managers, but I know Jamie particularly quite well. And uh, and I, you know, I really wish them well. I, I hope they have a great day. I'm sure they'll... They'll fly the flag for the Southern League really well. <laughs> exactly what I was going to say. Yeah, they're flying the flag for the league, so we wish them all the best. All right, cheers, mate.